Hey, it's Arant here. In this tech tutorial of System.io, I'm gonna show you how to connect your domain name to System.io and set it up so it has your own brand and it does not have the System.io in the domain name. So when you join System.io, by default, you're gonna be given a subdomain, i.e. you're gonna have your name or your email address dot System.io and that's what's gonna be your subdomain by default. Now, if you wanna change that, you can do that, and it's actually able to be done on the free plan as well, and you can have one custom domain. If you're on the unlimited plan like me, you have unlimited custom domains. So depending which plan you're on, you have different options. Somewhere around here, you'll see a video explaining the different pricing options of system.io and giving you a fair comparison about how they work and which one is right for you. Typically, the startup plan is going to be just fine for most people, but I'll leave it to that video. Now, the domain name we're gonna connect today is called eranplr.com. Eran, my name, PLR stands for private label rights because there is different uh, things that I've built, digital products in my business that I know are something that you're going to find a lot of value in yourself and you can actually use that. And I've basically created a package where you can buy my funnels, buy my things and use them for yourself as well. And just make your life really a lot easier, basically. So those particular funnels are all gonna be explained on uh, eranplr.com. One of them is going to help you specifically be an affiliate for system.io and earn commissions like I do. And, um, you know, just use basically all my proven funnel templates that are giving me affiliate commissions on a weekly basis and generating me passive income. So with that shameless plug out of the way, let's dive into the actual tech integration. So I'm going to use domain.com. Now, I recommend you buy from Namecheap. So if you go to run.link forward slash Namecheap, that is where I recommend you buy a domain name. Because I already bought the domain name from domain.com, I'm just going to use that. Then we're going to go to system.io and you're going to hover over your profile. You're gonna click on settings, then you're gonna see the different settings here. You're gonna click on custom domains and then you'll see the different domain names here. You're gonna click on add domain name and you're gonna type in your domain name with the www, www.aranplr.com. Save. And now it's basically going to add the domain name to your system account. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to make it a connection between system.io and the domain provider so they actually talk to each other basically. Okay, so you're gonna go to your domain provider, make sure you're logged in. This might look different in your interface depending on which software you're using. Now, in case you're struggling with all this, this is all complicated for you and you want one-on-one -on -one help, just be aware that me and my support team actually help people one-on-one -on -one to get all of this done and sorted for you so you don't have to worry about any of that because this can be a little bit techy, okay? So anyway, I'm gonna leave the link uh, below for you to learn more about that as well. Uh, but for right now, let's just connect the different integrations. So you're gonna see that there is this part and this is a C name. So you're gonna click on the plus button, www. You're gonna choose C name. You're gonna paste in the content and you're gonna click on add DNS. Leave it as one hour, that's fine. Then you're gonna do it again. You see that it says your DNS record has been successfully added. You're gonna go back, you're gonna copy all of this Paste this here. Now notice that it's going to automatically not capture the around PLR. This is really important because you don't want that. You just want this part right here. So even though I copy the whole thing, it actually automatically removed it and just kept this part. But your domain provider might not do that. So just pay attention to that. You just wanna capture this section right here before the actual domain name. Then you're gonna capture all of this up to the AWS. Paste this here, choose C name. Now you'll notice in my case that it's not letting me click the button. The reason for that is because here, there is basically something that I cannot add. So I'm gonna click on this part right here again. No dot, and then now that works. So just be careful. This is really like, really um, sensitive, okay? So just make sure you get it right. Click on add DNS, and now it's all connected. Now, what you wanna do is, it's going to say pending validation, and when it's ready to use, it will say ready to use. Now, you're gonna notice, basically, that when it's successfully connected, you're going to see this page. Now, this does not mean that you have not done it correctly. This actually means you've done it correctly. Now, there is another YouTube video somewhere around here that's gonna show you what to do to set up your homepage once you've done the integrations correctly. 
Another thing is you will notice that in some cases you're going to need to set up a redirect. And what that means is that when you are in your domain provider, you need to go to pointers and subdomains. Then you go here, URL standard, paste this here and click on save. That way, when somebody types in www or they don't, it doesn't matter, it's still gonna go to the right place. This really depends on the domain provider, which is one of the reasons why I recommend you use Namecheap because rarely we've had issues with Namecheap. Namecheap just works great. With other domain providers, unfortunately, I've found that there's issues with them for some reason. Don't ask me why. That's just what my experience, me and my team. If you wanna get one-on-one -on -one help and actually have somebody hop on a Zoom call and help you do all of these techie integrations with you, then I offer that for free when you use my affiliate link, when you join system.io, you can go to a run.link forward slash 197 bonus and sign up for the instructions on this page. You're going to see everything is explained right here. Watch the video, you'll see all my bonuses and uh, you'll see a video right here that's gonna to explain to you also how to sign up correctly so I get credit, then you will let me know and I'll make sure that you get access. Now, in case you didn't know about the PLR stuff also, um, when you use the webinar plan as well for System.io, I actually give you access to my PLR for System.io as well. I've got another video somewhere around here that's gonna explain what the hell is System.io PLR, so you learn a little bit more about that because that's something that's going to give you a digital product that you can sell immediately, even if you've never created a course yourself. So that's really, really good value, and I'm gonna explain to you how to use it, why to use it, things along these lines. That's about it. If you have any questions, let me know. Leave a comment with the word value if you found this video helpful. And somewhere around here, I will leave the next helpful tutorial for you regarding system.io and also the playlist because I have a very extensive playlist on system.io. That's about it. Thanks all for watching. I'll speak to you soon.